Ahmed Hussein. He says, is there any authentic hadith regarding reciting Surah Yasin over someone who is in his, on his deathbed and is approaching his end? If not, then what is prescribed in the Sunnah? Surah Yasin, the vast majority of scholars since decades and, and centuries ago say that it is a prescribed and recommended sunnah. But when we listen to other scholars who beg to differ, we find that they say that this is not a sunnah. So there is a dispute. Some say sunnah, some say it's not sunnah. What to do? Allah Azza wa gave us the answer in the Quran. He said, whenever there is a dispute among you, refer it back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. So we go back and check the Quran, there's nothing. The Surah is there, but there's nothing recommending or discouraging us from reading it. We go to the Sunnah and all the hadiths that are listed, favoring reciting it upon the dead or when people are in their dying beds, all the hadiths are weak and not authentic. So now, what to do? Follow the great scholars blindly, though we know that the foundation they built their, their opinion upon is weak, is not authentic? Or should we refrain? Of course, the way we should act upon is to follow the Quran and the Sunnah by the understanding of the righteous predecessors of the three favored generations. And this means that we do not recite the surah upon them. And if we were to recite it, yani just to act upon what the scholar said, it should be done when the person is dying, when his soul is exiting and departing his body. Then it is okay, according to the majority, to recite it because during or in the surah itself, there is mentioning of that righteous, uh, uh, pious person who on his dying bed said, I wish, saying to the angels, I wish that my people know what Allah has prepared for me. Uh, and, and this gives hope to the dying person to be like him. What to do from the sunnah? The sunnah is that when you are at the bed of a dying person, to do ruqya, to give him dua, and to make sure that the last thing he says is the testimony of truth. So the Prophet sa says, as some, whoever concludes his life, and the last thing he said was, La ilaha illallah. There is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah or Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness and testify that there is no God worthy of uh, being worshipped other than Allah. If this was the last thing he utters, then he will be uh, 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 sent to Jannah, to paradise with the grace of Allah. Having said that, you do not repeat until you bore him to death. No. You simply say, say la ilaha illallah. He says la ilaha illallah. If he remains silent for five hours, this is sufficient. Even if he dies, no problem. Because that was the last thing he said. But if he speaks and says after a couple of hours, I'm thirsty, give me some water. You give him the water and you say, say la ilaha illallah. So that the last thing he says before saying anything else would be uh, la ilaha illallah.